Hey guys, I'm Maggie. I am the normal half of Family's Garage. We wanted to introduce ourselves since we have entered into the No Name 500. We'll be coming all the way from Savannah. Let me introduce you to my 1970 Super B. It is 383 cubic inches of fury. Once we figure out why it's not getting enough fuel. I mean, not with this carburetor technically because this isn't for the car. A bigger one, not this one. But it looked cool with me holding it. As you can see, the car is stock all the way down to the warning buzzer. Some of the gauges work, so yay. And there's no radio to distract me from power shifting like an MF once we replace the synchronizers. You'll know I'm coming with my squeaky clutch. And if you make it out in front of me, I'll just pop my ram air and zoom right in front of you. Assuming I get this installed before I make it there. These big meats are gonna get excellent traction. Once I figure out how to put these in. Hey guys, this is Joe from the family's garage, the faster side. I'm gonna give you a five speed so we only have to use second gear in the eighth mile. You'll get classic auto air so we're comfortable in the staging lanes. And we'll put 30 to 40 more PSI in your air shocks so the slicks don't rub. I'm gonna get you washed, waxed, and armor all and you'll be ready to go out on that racetrack. You're gonna be perfect. This is my 1974 Z28. If you follow the channel at all, you know she's sporting all kinds of goodies like a blueprint engine sport with the Force 383. She's got a Muncie four speed in the tunnel currently. However, there is a TKX sitting right over there that's gonna be swapped in shortly. She's running a factory 10 bolt with a 373 gear. It might make it through a race weekend. Full Hotchkiss suspension front and rear, beautiful American racing rims, and an Alpine stereo from the early 90s that really jams the skid row. cinematics and kidding aside um, we just found out about this event a few days ago uh, super excited to be a participant we've been looking for an event like this we were trying to figure out how to do drag and drive but the cars aren't that fast and it's really on the other side of the country most of the time that's the one drawback to being down here in the southeast is everything cool happens out west you just told everybody we weren't that fast the brand you suckster. <laughs> that's, we're fast-ish. That's how street racing works. Oh, I'm just kidding. We're not fast. Uh, wink. Wink. Okay, we're really not that fast. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the point. <laughs> Al, mosquito just bit me. I know. So we just wanted to give you a quick overview of the cars, let you know where we're at, let you know the projects we got coming up to try to make it. Uh, I know we got five months, plenty of time, um, looking forward uh, to hanging out, racing, and partying. Already trying to get a race in the works with Muscle City Madness. Got the old Roadrunner with the big block in it. Which is so freaking cool. We got the Super B with the big block in it. Uh, going for an all Mopar shootout. Uh, you've seen the cars. You know the people. Let's do this. Ugh. Oh, I hate when my drink is empty. It's the worst. Like, you have a hole in your lip? I don't think you can promote alcohol while racing. 